Hi folks, this is all the fruit. I'm the beautiful city of Bordighera on the Italian Riviera. And this place, despite being on the southern slopes of the Alps, in the southern foothills of the Alps and at the same geographical latitude as southern Canada or New England, is so abundant with subtropical fruits and other plants that I decided just to make a video about fruit trees inside the city. I mean, most of those trees are nothing special for Italy, and I don't think if, that the Italians here appreciate them as much as I do. Italy stretches very far to the south, and actually at the, at the southernmost parts, like the, the south of Sicily, they even cultivate bananas and mangoes for commercial use. But here, as I said, we are in the north. If I would starting, if I started to climb those hills behind the behind the city, I would end up in the in the eternal snow of the alpine mound of the Alps. But since here the Alps come close to the Mediterranean Sea, between the Alps and the Mediterranean Sea, there is a narrow strip of subtropical climate that far north. I think it might be the, the most, the northernmost place with such a mild climate. Actually, there are places here which have been frost-free since the end of the 19th century. But, without much talk, let's see what they have here. Bordighera is very famous for its date palms. They've had a commercial date palm cultivation for many centuries, but not so much for the fruit, more for the leaves, who were bought by the Pope in Rome. Here we have some Washingtonia palms, the toxic oleander. Lots of bitter oranges as, uh, as uh, city roadside trees. Nothing unusual for Italy, but remember here we are very far north. Usually that far north in Italy, it's very hard to, to reliably grow them. Well, the super tasty queen palm, Giagros Romansofiana, unfortunately they don't see it as a fruit or nut tree here. They're a bit conservative when it comes to fruit and nut species. It's a pity, but it grows well, and so there are more queen palm fruits and nuts for me. Yeah, here more bitter oranges. Nobody even harvests them here. Actually, you can make a lot of tasty things from the bitter orange, which is not bitter at all. But they don't do this here. Yes, bananas are actually a common fruit plant. It's not really a tree. At in this area at the same latitude as southern Canada and they produce good fruit and big fruit when you care for them properly. I've only seen bananas of the variety Tokocho here, those are not fully developed. Those here are those here are fully developed and I think you could already pick them or wait till they ripen on the plant. But yeah it's so warm here as I said I have to say it again, at the same geographical latitude as southern Canada, that I haven't seen a single apple tree here, but bananas are not unusual. Look, this guy has two, two bunches of bananas in his garden. Let's see, I saw a couple more along the street. Ah, now that I'm looking for them, I cannot find them. Well. The next interesting fruit tree, which they probably do not really regard as a fruit tree, is the apple cactus. Look at that. Oh, I don't want to steal your apples, I just want to film them. Nice huge apple cactus tree. The fruit are a little bit stunt. That might, might be an issue with pollination. But they do ripen here. And in other gardens, I've seen apple cacti with better fruit. And those palms, palms, palms. When the, when the commercial palm cultivation in Bordighera went southwards, basically at the end of the 19th century, a lot of the palms, a lot of the date palms of Bordighera were actually dug out and shipped to Nice and to other, and to other uh, coastal cities on the French Côte d'Azur, which is basically the continuation of the Italian Riviera, 
to the west and were planted there as beautiful roadside trees of course they wanted more old old palm trees and they could get them cheaply from Cordigera. here another apple cactus also with quite small stunt fruit but at least they have fruit yeah queen palms very tasty laurel and here more bananas as i said the banana is here more or less a normal fruit plant here a grape wine with big tasty grapes they will probably not get super sweet here in the shade but we are in italy so grapes are a normal thing laurel bay laurel bay leaf next to it the plum tree and there is you know, still one plum still hanging on it here more citrus those might be actually sweet oranges well what shall i cover first olives over there more topocho bananas behind this palm tree the shrubs are covered are covered with blue passion fruit and actually the fruits are ripe let's see if i can zoom in for you well it's a phone so the zoom is not perfect those orangish yellowish fruit are passion fruit let's go back to this side it's not without dangers to walk to cross the street so many times those trees here i think they might be lemons because they are inside the garden here an old half abandoned garden with old with old citrus trees i don't know what they are i cannot see a single fruit but probably they are lemons and oranges you can grow you can grow kumquats here very well they are quite frost resistant you can also grow some mandarins and i think even pomelos up here yeah here another i guess lemon tree palms 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 a lot of them are ornamental here we have the here we have the domestic pine or stone pine also a very important nut tree of the mediterranean it's a very important timber tree very important uh, culturally but also very important as a nut tree that's where the pine nuts come from if you look at this magnificent pine over there this is the tallest canary island pine in all of europe comes from the canary islands and yeah even on the canary islands canary island pines of this size are considered something special of course bamboo the italians don't use bamboo for a lot of things in this area there is a traditional um, craftsmanship with um, with palm leaves but bamboo is used here more as an ornamental a plum tree an overgrown plum tree between the two bamboos here an avocado tree avocados are more frost resistant than i thought you can grow good fruit good avocado fruit all the way up to, to scotland on the atlantic but that far east like <clears throat> on the european continent i don't know that i don't think you can grow them further northeast than here well maybe you could grow them at the italian lakes and the alps but yeah an avocado tree hanging full of big fruit somebody cut back those home oaks and from afar i thought those were big olive trees but they are home oaks they have just been pruned a lot well here again lots of old palms beautiful well, giant spurges over there, they are toxic. Let's see. Okay, let's stop filming for now since I don't want to cross the street too often, but I just wanted to give you a short impression of what fruit trees you can expect in this subtropical island, which is nested on the southern slopes of the Alps. So folks, those were some fruit trees in the center of Cordillera. Stay tuned for a lot more fruit videos from the beautiful city of Cordillera. And don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe.